Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa and today I am going to try to start my first theme week for this year. If you have never been here before, I in the end of last year I did a lot of different theme weeks so I often choose maybe a brand or some kind of different palettes. I did a Halloween theme week and I also did a collab palace theme week and today I am starting a week that I have done before or a brand that I've used before I'm going to do a lethal week but this lethal week is not with my singles S singles this week is with the pre-made palettes I do have from lethal so I thought that now in the first part I could show you which one I do have I actually have one more. I have one of the six pan palettes, but I, I'm not going to include that in this week because I don't know. <laughs> I just didn't want to. So the palette that I have is the Yulina palette. This was their first palette that wasn't singles that really that they released. This is with a German influencer called Yulina. Uh, I haven't used this that much, but I do like it. I also have this one. That is the 80s inspired After Dark palette. I haven't used this that much either. Just because I don't... I don't know if it is like... I do like some of the colors, but I like to use them together with others. Then I also have this one. And this is Velvet Dusk. This is the 90s inspired grunge palette. And this, I do really love it, but I don't use it. But every time I do use it, I love the look that I get out of it. Then I also have another collab palette, and this is the Lethal Estead. So this is with Teresa Estead, and it is the same with this palette as with the Velvet Dusk. I, I do like how it looks, but I do struggle a bit with doing looks with it. And the last one is the Berlin 89. And the little special thing about this one is it has one of their multi-chromes in it. Um, this one, Breakthrough. In my first impression, I did love this shade so, so much. I haven't used that palette much though. But yeah, I am guess I'm just going to get started and I'm going to start with the Yulina palette. I think I want to do somewhat of an halo eye with this one. And I think I want to use, use both uh, Fuck Me Eyes and Narcissist. But I'm not sure. I think I will start with a Serendipity and take Cold Brew. Yeah, we will see. So this palette was the first, this is not, I guess you can take out the shadows, but they are not meant to be taken out. And this was their first collab palette and also their first like, they have come out with some bundles, but this was the first palette. And I haven't seen a lot of the people that I follow using this and I don't know how many that I follow that do have this palette. And I remember like when I got it I was trying to watch videos on it but the most were in uh, yeah German influencers and uh, Yulina that is the influencer with this. She is from Germany and uh, I guess she's kind of big there and I like watch some of her videos but they were in yeah not English so I think she did a video about this palette in English. It was such a long time ago but I do remember that I thought it was hard to find like inspo on what how to use this or what to do with this and I don't know if you have this palette please let me know and I, I do think that the color store is nice but it's just that I don't know 
what to do with it. And I guess that even though I am not maybe anymore, but in the beginning I thought it was so hard to play with the palette if I didn't see anybody else use it, like get no inspiration. And it wasn't that talked about this palette, so I don't, I wasn't like super eager to use it, but yeah. I do think it's a nice palette, but I don't think it was that popular. Maybe because it wasn't with like an English speaking influencer and also I think this came pretty like early on in the lethals when they were pretty new so maybe not that many people know about lethal at that time I don't know but that is what I'm thinking okay I'm going in with cold brew now and do I want to do a halo yeah I think so like I have this everywhere cat hair I'm so annoyed with the cat and the, the cats and their hair I have cat hair everywhere okay I'm going to take this out here I can't remember how dark this is not that dark or maybe I just don't have a good brush okay it's pretty dark I back when I tried to have like a palette of the month in 2020 maybe it was um, I did have this palette and I think I did free looks with it and I don't know if I have used it that much more after that and I don't know why but you know you have like some palettes in your collection if you have a bigger collection as I do have when it comes to eyeshadows I think it's easy to like forget some of the shadows on this palette and this is really one of those that you maybe do love the palette but for some reason you just forget that you have it and especially like yeah when you don't see videos about it you don't see other people use it and then you aren't like, oh yeah, I do have that palette as well. I was though really good at using things, older things last year because I did my no buy, so I didn't have any new makeup to use. But yeah, I'm not perfect with using all the shades that I or or all, 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 all the palettes I do have. Okay, and it's now that I don't know if I swatch these two shimmers. So it's these two. This looks really, really nice. But I think if I take this in the middle and I blend the edges with this one, I think that can be good. I hope that will be good. And I'm going to use my glitter primer and something really annoying has happened. My, I don't know if you can see this. But this has like broken off. I don't know if it's clogged or something. I, I guess I should buy a new one because this is getting so messy. I do really love this. I don't want to be without it and it do work. It's just <laughs> everything's coming out on the edge here. Has this happened to any one of you? I don't know if it's stuck, but I have like poked it with a needle and it's still coming out where it's not supposed to come out. Okay, so I'm going to cut this halo and I don't want this glitter primer and it's scattered over here as well. So I'm going to take this here and I am not like super careful. I'm trying to be a little bit more messy with my makeup application maybe not messy but like make it more maybe we can say blended so i'm going to start with the green one and it's cat there on this one as well this lip brush and i'm going to take this in the middle of my halo this is a really nice, like, mossy, shimmery green. 
And I don't know if they still have this palette or not. I know it has been on sale more than once. So I guess maybe that is showing that it's not doing the super best. But also it feels like people often go to Lethal because of their single eyeshadows and like building your own palette or taking one of the bundles and maybe not this is what people go to lethal to buy I don't know I think I do like it, it feels like though this halo took over my whole eye so I'm going in with the cold brew, the matte one again just a little bit. Okay, but I do think I really like it. I think these go really good together. So I think I do like this halo. Um, Yeah, I do like this halo. I think it turned out really nice. So uh, I thought that I could cut the other halo off cam. The septum ring is annoying the crap out of me like don't want to stay in the center <laughs> okay i will fix the other eye fix my base and i think i'm going to use maybe not a blush that i have from lethal but one of the highlighters i think and i also guess that i will take a lip from lethal so yeah i will fix this and then i come back this is the finished look and i do really love it i did end up using my bronzer and the, the independence blush from Nabla for this look but I did use the Ionic highlighter from Lethal which I do really like but I'm like stuck in using my Awesome from Nabla but I do really like that one for my waterline I did use Overboard from Colourpop and on my lips I did use Rapture I don't know why I can't never remember. I have two reds from Lethal, Rapture and Riptide. I can never remember which one it's, yeah. So Rapture is the dark one and Riptide is the light one. And yeah, that was all for this look. I do really, really like this little halo. I did pop this shimmer in my inner corners, but I do really like these two together. And what I do feel about this palette, I think it has some really nice shimmers. And yeah, I have like nothing against it. And I have think I have thought it has been fun every time I've been playing with this palette. So I guess I maybe just need to play with it more. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I do like it. And I do like the looks that I have done with it. So yeah. But I do hope that you like this video. I hope that you're excited for a new theme week. I haven't been like that eager to film. Now the latest, which I guess you've noticed because it hasn't come up that many videos. But I'm really trying to get back into YouTube. It feels like my... Now when I don't have my Nobody anymore, I do actually feel a bit confused about that in a strange way but yeah i do really hope that you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and i hope that you are excited to see the next look tomorrow with the after dark bye